Hello, let's talk about the licenses, about Click Sense licenses. So, as you probably already know, Click Sense has turned off a freemium version of their product, and now anybody who wants to use the Click Sense software has to buy a license. That's a little bit unfortunate because you won't be able to use it for your personal use, but for the corporate use, it's still a great product. Let's dive in and let's see what we have. We can go to Click Sense page, like click.com, US, for example, pricing, and we can see the details of their prices in here. The prices are in dollars, so I'll keep using that currency. The most cheapest version is ClickSense Business. It costs $30 a month if you pay for one year period. What is it good for? ClickSense Enterprise costs $70 for a professional license and $40 for analyzer or $100 for analyzer capacity. What's the difference between these? Let's check it out. If you go a little bit lower on this page, we can see the compare product features section and more details. You probably are too lazy to look for the details and that's why you're looking for this video. So the main difference between these two, $30 and $70 licenses, is that $30 is more for a small company like almost one man team, I could say, because the main issue with this license is that you can't share the apps for the different users with different permissions. Everything you will create on the ClickSense environment will be visible to you and other people who will be using this type of license. So that's the main I would say con for this type of license because yeah if you have a bigger company with more products and click sense applications you are using that's not a good option for that in that case you'll have to use one of click sense enterprise versions this goes into two different licenses as well forty dollars for the analyzer and $100 for analyzer capacity and $70 for the professional. So what's the main difference between these three? $70 should go to a well, professional, should go to a person who will be creating ClickSense dashboards and who will be maintaining everything. So at least one person has to have this kind of license because we will be creating apps, we will, we, we will be working with enterprise management and uh, configuring everything. For the users who will be viewing ClickSense applications, like management for example, or any other user who won't be creating apps, you should choose analyzer or analyzer capacity licenses. So, $40 for the analyzer. The main thing about analyzer license is that it will be assigned to one person and that person can use ClickSense as much as we want. No time limits, no apps used or anything else. So that's good if there is a person who is using ClickSense a lot and often. Analyzer capacity, on the other hand, can be distributed to as many people as you want and uh, you will get 1000 minutes for one month but many users will be able to use it and that's very convenient if you have like different departments and different people who are using but they are not using like every day or not a lot so this is a good thing for uh, i would say any size companies just one thing to notice for the analyzer capacity once the user logins to any ClickSense application, six minutes counts right away. It means they have six minutes and after six minutes 
another 60 minutes from a 1000 minute limit will be reduced. So, if you go to our ClickSense server, to the license usage summary, we can see that we have 1000 minutes for the month and uh, below we can see how many minutes already used. We can see detailed statistics of which user used how many minutes and how many apps and uh, all kind of interesting stuff, I would say. Because if you had just apps before, you were not able to see that. So with Click Server Enterprise, you can see that. Another thing that you should know, that you can host your ClickSense server, server in your environment or use ClickSense servers. So in this case, click hosted or client managed. So these prices are for the click hosted environment. If you go to client managed, you will see that prices are slightly lower. Not much, but slightly lower. Uh, what's good about that? Not just the price, which is like for the company five bucks for the user, it's really not that much. The main difference is that if you keep everything on your servers, you can get more security. Like you can make that only your company employees will be able to access the applications from your network, not from anywhere else. On the other hand, in some cases you might want that users would be able to access the ClickSense server and applications from the outer internet. That means from anywhere else. But even if it's on your servers and accessible only, only in your network, it's still possible to configure VPNs on cell phones or computers and users will be able to access the data as well. So, if you have a chance to have your own server, which needs about 8 gigabytes of RAM, at least 40 gigabytes, gigabytes of space, and uh, not so powerful processor as I remember. So I would recommend you to use your own environment because it's not so hard to install everything. Well, it takes some time. You can see my previous video about installing certificate, which, yeah, took some time to investigate and, and so on. But there are more advantages to have it on your own servers than on click servers. I hope you find this video useful with some information about ClickSense licenses. It should be easier to, to understand how it works and which one to use. And if you like the video, please like it, please subscribe it and check for the new video soon about ClickSense, about data and data related things. See you next time. Uh, I think I'll do it again. Yes. What's the... Again. <coughs> I think I'll skip that part and I'll try again.